Hello, my name is Kevin Perry, and I'm the instructor for Atmospheric Sciences 5000, an introduction to atmospheric sciences. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Atmospheric Sciences at the University of Utah. As you can see, I have a bachelor's in meteorology and a PhD in atmospheric sciences, and I did postdoctoral research work at the University of California, Davis. I consider myself to be an expert in air pollution, and my current research is focusing in on mineral dust emissions from uh, different sources in the Intermountain West. I served as department chair from 2011 and 2018, and I've been teaching this class in one form or another for the last 20 years. It's my favorite class to teach, and uh, I really look forward to uh, getting to know the students and to share my enthusiasm about the atmospheric sciences with you. I love looking at the atmosphere from space because you get to see it from a different perspective than what you do on the ground. From the ground, you see these large storms, you see rain, uh, you see wind, you get to experience it. But from space, you get to look down on top of it and you can see how thin and fragile the atmosphere actually is. And in this class, we're going to be looking at trying to understand all of the processes that generate the cloud patterns uh, that you see in this picture and more. This class is, div is divided into four modules. Uh, the thermodynamics module, cloud physics, radiative transfer, and atmospheric dynamics. We spend a little bit more time on thermodynamics and cloud physics, and a little less on radiative transfer and atmospheric dynamics. So what is atmospheric thermo thermodynamics? Thermodynamics is really just the study of the heat uh, transfer um, and how uh, energy is transfer transformed from one form to another. Uh, cloud physics is really basically trying to understand everything that goes on inside a cloud in order for it to produce precipitation. This includes both liquid water, water vapor, and ice processes. Radiative transfer is really trying to understand how radiation or electromagnetic radiation is emitted, absorbed, scattered, and transmitted through the atmosphere and inside the atmosphere. And atmospheric dynamics is really trying to understand the motion of the wind and the air and the weather systems. And if you have a good understanding of atmospheric dynamics, it allows you to be able to uh, predict the weather uh, into the future. So the prerequisites for this course. Up until this semester, this class has always required calculus as a prerequisite. But what I've done this semester is completely retooled the class so that you need nothing more than college algebra and a little bit of atmosphere, a little bit of chemistry background. Um, if you have those two things, then you should do just fine in this course. The textbook that we are going to be using is an ebook. It's available free online. It's called Practical Meteorology, an Algebra-Based Survey of Atmospheric Science, and it has actually been put together by Dr. Roland Stull. Uh, he is a professor uh, at the University of British Columbia. Uh, he's a wonderful man, and uh, hopefully after um, reading through his textbook, you'll have a great appreciation for what he's done for students by making this material freely available to students. This class will keep you busy. We have 15 weekly quizzes, and these quizzes will be through the Canvas, and they will be consist of multiple choice questions. I'm not quite sure how many questions just yet. I will, however, drop the three lowest quiz scores that you have. There will also be 10 homework assignments and four take-home open book, open note exams and there's no final exam for this course. So your grade will be determined through homework quizzes and the exams. The homework makes up 30%, the quizzes make up 30%, and each exam makes up 10%. I will drop the three lowest quiz scores uh, as uh, indicated before. And the final grade is basically the 90, 80, 70, 60, 60 scale. 
so if you want to get an A, you need to uh, get 92.5% or better. A minus between 90 and 92.5, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, there are many resources that I have put on Canvas uh, that will be available for you. One will be a detailed syllabus. Uh, there are equation sheets for each chapter. The entire e-textbook is available through Canvas, uh, or you can go to the website and download it yourself. Um, I have it downloaded as a single large textbook or by chapter. Uh, in Canvas, there'll be links to pre-recorded lecture videos. Uh, there will be also links to our Zoom classroom meetings so that you can participate. Uh, in Canvas, you can also check up on your grades and you will be able to see any kind of announcements uh, that uh, I'll be making uh, if things happen to change uh, going forward. So I really look forward to meeting everyone and working with you this semester and sharing my enthusiasm for the atmosphere. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to pull this off without too many hits.